Hello, this is Seamus, N7MYW. Today I thought I would showcase how I am getting out with my signals and ham radio. Pardon the crow in the background, he's being very vocal this morning. And any extraneous noises such as backup indicators and other beeps are building across the street from me here. But this is this particular setup I have here. The base is an MFJ mag mount. It's about five inches or so. And then the sticks themselves are put out by shark stick. What I have done, and this, this mount takes a 3 8 by 24 threaded antenna. So, as you can see, this is the way it usually comes. So you'll see uh, if you ever purchase one of these or have used one. That's primarily what it is. What I have done is taken couplers and these individual couplers I have on all of my antennas for each individual band. And this one here is 15 meters. Once that coupler is in there, as you can see, focus in on that a little bit, um, that just allows you to pop that off. And it just comes right on out. Let's see if I can get this to work. And that pops off like that therefore allows the antennas to be changed out very easily. So when I want to change bands, I'll just come on out here, pop the new antenna on, go inside. Most of these are cut, so I don't need a tuner, but I do like to use a tuner. It's me a little bit of extra out there. That is how I work them. Now, that particular antenna goes up probably, I'd say that's probably about six feet maybe seven feet and I'm already about 30 feet off the ground so it works out really well for me I have a south facing view towards the greater Portland area here in uh, in Washington and Oregon these work great uh, it, it makes it very very easy to change out bands and if I needed to go mobile with it I could and I have done that QRP also allows me to do and take you inside and show you that I just take all of my antennas and have various couplers on them and then here at the top I've just taken a small piece of tape and it just shows what band it is and all I need to do is to just read which band it is take it out put it up away I go walk over to my shack my, my radios, and there it is. This particular setup that I have, now today, I happen to have on my uh, Yaesu FT991. This isn't uh, cooperating as well when it comes to ISO today, but that, uh, that is what I'm using. And then, of course, up above, there's FT8 on my computer. So, it's a good system. For the apartment that I have, it works very, very well. And let me turn down that ISO. It works great on this metal railing balcony here. Oh, looks like we have a visitor. So I believe that is a chickadee right there. Um, got uh, some wonderful bird visitors around here. That and, of course, the hummingbird feeder. But I digress. Back to ham radio. That works great for me. If you have a metal balcony or railing, works as a great counterpoise uh, as if you were using your vehicle and this particular railing works beautifully I have been using there's a second antenna over there I have been using this setup now for the last two years and it works spectacularly now don't worry about the uh, two other antennas here those are VHF and UHF there's no problem in any interference between those and I don't operate them at the same time so that's it the shark stick setup works great for me along with the uh, 3 8 by 24 mag mount by MFJ or what any company. It's a good one. And I'm, uh, I'm very, very pleased with it. So, on that note, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, boy, get that, uh, hit that thumbs up if you can, the like button. And subscribe if, uh, if you do enjoy these videos. Put in the comments below how your antenna system works and if you have any questions. 73 from Seamus and 7MYW.